Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. I'm joined here today with my cat named Binky. He's on the floor. Regardless, let's continue playing as the United States in our Hearts of Iron 4 Democracy Edition campaign. So, we had a comment yesterday. Mr. Mocha Lover, you seem to be doing well, but you know what you should do? What you should do is invite Portugal into your faction, because we are quite the mighty faction, the Treaty of Reciprocal Assistance. Even though if we added Portugal, hmm, if we added Portugal, they would have to reciprocate and assist us in the war against Axis. We could maybe, what about you, Sweden? Yeah. Could you join us, actually? Because you are more than half democratic. And then again, just because that's popular support doesn't mean anything. Uh, Portugal, though, is 90% non-aligned and either fascist or communist. Yeah, that's not probably going to work out too well for us. I mean, they have a liberty ethos, but that's just pretty much a name only. I don't think they really want us or really want to join our war against the Germans, even though I would love to have Portugal in my faction so we can help land there. But I think by the time that I actually get divisions over to Portugal, the Axis will probably have overran overran the country of Portugal by that time so and honestly I'm trying to boost Iran with democracy support so they'll join us but you know I don't think they'll really join us and by the time we get their support we probably won't need it but whatever with that in mind we shall continue Wow I lost three destroyers in exchange for 17 enemy ships Jesus guys my gosh However, in this episode, we will finish off India, and we will continue to push further and further into German-held territory. Can you guys just take him out? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, guys. Ooh. However, let's see. And you know what? We've already completed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and I'm not ending this video right now. Alright, cool. So all we had to do was take Bombay, apparently. Very cool. Very nice. Uh, just send one guy down here. And let the rest of y'all just kind of destroy them all. And then y'all come down here. That'd be great. Uh, my one tank division that helped to take them out is over here. Y'all come over here. It's fine. So, that's pretty good already. Awesome, and I guess people are trying to invade Abu Dhabi again. Good luck with that. Over here, uh, I did say last time, some places, some armies can do very well over here, while other armies really cannot. So we're going to go down to a little more balanced strategy to attack. Douglas MacArthur, I really doubt any of these guys have really any anything interesting to tell me. That's what I figured. And under Eisenhower, Mark Clark, yeah, I didn't think so, didn't think so, didn't think so, and yeah, pretty much. So with this in mind, actually, with India pretty much done and dusted with, we will now be able to send both of these armies I have over here with my uh, mouse, Army 13 and Army 11, and they will form up the African and Turkish fronts, basically, when we get down there. That will be very good, when we do get down there, of course. Let's see, are you guys... Uh, I mean, they do... The Nazis do still do have quite a few divisions around here. Don't really want to attack until we're really ready, but that's why I said these guys uh, keep advancing when you can. Definitely when you can. Actually. Yeah, your goals are to get all the way to France. And your goals are to get all the way... Wait, who's... Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Let's go ahead and rearrange ourselves. We are trying to improve infrastructure pretty much wherever we are at. Maybe it's up here because infrastructure is pretty bad. House hearings and presidential misconduct. How much misconduct has this president been under? Jesus Christ. Seriously. That's... I, th I don't think the president, any president in 1948, was under this much scrutiny. I mean, I mean, sure, you can be, you know, opinionated on whether he should have dropped those nuclear bombs, but uh, other than that, I, I don't think there was really any misdoings. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a Truman guy. I don't know that much about Truman except he dropped the bombs and he's from Missouri. Maybe he did something else. I don't. Yeah, he wasn't real. Was he reelected? Yeah, he might have been. Actually, he wasn't ever elected, but he, because FDR died, so he took over for FDR, 
after that, was he elected as the president at the time? He might have been. More defense, uh, multiplier. Yeah, let's go with this. I can't remember exactly. I don't know. He's just one of those presidents that was, you know, he was one of those presidents that was a little bit significant, not really that significant. He's like a, I don't know, what's a somewhat slightly significant. He's not. He's no Abraham Lincoln. He's no, you know, George Washington. I, I mean, I would put also Dwight Eisenhower, this guy, as maybe a little bit more influential than Harry Truman. Who knows absolutely nothing, even though I'm not really a kid anymore either, so. Whatever. I, I, I really don't think that they really did that much. Regardless. Oh, nice. An Italian light cruiser. Very good. Let's see. Come on, just finish these guys off. They don't want to go home. They want to stay here forever, and they want to die. There you go. All right. Very cool. So both of you now can join the front over here. Uh, actually, speed it up a little bit so our guys can reorganize themselves, and we can continue building infrastructure all along this area because it's actually not too bad. Actually, that's not... Oh, my gosh. They have left some holes here. I don't want you to go crazy. I want you to be balanced, I... Douglas MacArthur. Um, okay, well, I, I like overall what's happening in the south. The middle portion, maybe not so much. Oh my gosh, this, is, this has got to be terrifying. You're trapped in Siberia. You have no supplies. You are told to defend until the last man. Ooh, that is not a pretty sight to see. Now, I don't want to cause too much infrastructural problems, but I d definitely need my tanks around here. And once this field marshal, not Patton, of course, but once Douglas MacArthur gets down to Turkey, and we had to split off towards Vichy France, and we get to the, what was this, the Black Sea? Once we get down here, we'll probably need to call in these two armies, these 49 divisions I have on the bottom right here. That'll probably be for the best. Uh, let's see, I mean... Going on, nice destroyer. Uh, before we really move on too far, I do want to check out to see if we have any new uh, screens or task force fleets or task forces. Yeah, they're not even fleets; they're just task forces at this point. Alrighty, a little bit of coffee. Well, combine them. We have a total of six. Huh, now would it be worth it to extend my range out here into the Saragasso Sea? Or actually do the Labrador Sea instead. Let's do that. Let's see, y'all come over here. Resign. Uh, sure, whatever. See, now you have 9 out of 10. You will patrol, and actually, you'll come to the Labrador Sea. I want you to avoid the Labrador Sea if you can, but we'll see what happens, of course. Oh, and we have... Wait. Oh, we have our submarines also doing a good job here. But there's really nothing around here since Chile decided to take out uh, Greenland. Or I guess the North Sea Empire, which was stationed here. You go ahead and repair, guys. There's not much out here. I'm actually going to send these guys probably closer to Africa or something. Just so that they get a little bit more use. Oh my gosh, after I told them to all separate. Oh, we're only left with 27. Why are you guys all injured or something now? What? Are... Oh my god! A hundred and two subs. I forgot about these guys. Well, I do want fifty at each fleet. This won't be too bad, actually. There we go. All right, and you will join Is it this group. Yeah, it was this group. How many are repairing? One. Actually, this group could use a few more, but whatever. Uh, there's 12 to... 12, what, wait, 12 to... Oh, you're on this... Oh, you're, you should go to the Pacific then. Because you guys are Pacificing. Patrol. Help patrol. That'd be great. Yeah, two carriers. That's that's pretty good. Actually, that composition makeup is not great, but whatever. I, I don't care anymore. Uh, let's see. So, y'all docked in Florida. Florida. You will come over here. You're doing fine. 
you will be doing some convoy raiding. You're both in the Labrador Sea. We will probably actually extend this to the Denmark Strait, but we're not done here yet. I'm glad I checked on these ships because we have another one to add as well. We come over here. 50 freaking submarines. Convoy raiding. Set them to split off. Great. Now, this will definitely help our allies if they want to invade Iceland. And if they invade Iceland, hopefully it's not Chile. Hopefully it's like China or Japan or someone like that. Or, yeah, someone like that. We can actually build up things here because we are at war with Iceland. Of all things. They have like nobody living there, but we're at war with them. Go figure. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, whatever. Whatever. Very nice. Thank you, Japan, for guarding all those provinces. Iran, do you want to become democratic? Yeah, you might actually want to become democratic. You're 11% there. 12%-ish. There. Goes up by 0.13 a day. This is not bad, even though we are taking quite a few losses. That's to be expected, since we are doing the majority of the fighting, it seems like. Ah, uh, yes. We are in Europe. Once you're past zeros, you are technically in Europe, as far as I know. Even though, it, it, I suppose it really depends on your definition of Europe, because technically, this is part of Europe, but over here, this is not, even though it, this province territory stuff isn't exactly perfect. Uh, Europe ends, in my opinion, probably past these mountains is Asia. Anything past the Urals is Asia as well. Like, down where my mouse is, down pretty much through here. Azerbaijan, I would probably classify as in Asia, because technically, Ira Iran is Asian, Iraq is Asian, Saudi Arabia is Asian, which you, which you would never think about. That's why India is considered Asian. Uh, would that make Israelites or... Oh, go! Oh, I said the I word. Or Palestinians. I said the P word. Asians? Would those be considered Asians? I mean, that's what I think. They're not in Africa. They're close to Africa. Egypt is in Africa. Sinai is in... Sinai. What if this was not... Is this African or is this Asian? I would say that that's African. I don't know. Regardless, something tells me my geography lessons could have been better. But that's what you get for having ninth grade. What was it geography honors I took? What? How many years ago? How many decades ago now? I'm not that old. Not that young either. Jesus, I ain't in high school. Are you kidding me? All right. Yeah, well, we're doing very well down here. Regardless, uh, tanks. They. Oh, good job, tanks. You're eating up all the supply. Good. Now go tell those Nazis who the real tank daddies are. Oh, yeah. Well, since we're here, let's take a look at the casualties. Well, I've taken over 7 million, which I've reacted very well to, surprisingly. I kind of figured that would happen. Japan, not bad. 100,000 in the United Mexican States. Axis. Italy has not lost, honestly, that many to us. 1.6 or 1.7 really isn't a terrible amount. Not bad, but a terrible amount. The French have lost more to us. The Germans have lost not nearly enough. And the Spaniards have lo not lost enough either. Now just keep pushing in, guys. Push. Uh, there you go. Hopefully you make it over there. Hopefully. Two American convoys. That's unfortunate. Another American convoy. Well, we sunk a German submarine. Since we're patrolling, I could probably take you guys off of here. Good. And... Hmm, North Atlantic Ridge might be finally time for us to do something like that. Oh, nice. Another sub. Another two subs. Another two subs. Wow. Another sub. Cool. Very good. Good job, boys. We're definitely trying to avoid the Atlantic Ocean. And, oh, oh I should not have clicked that super fast, but we did sink the pride of the Australian fleet, which I'm surprised they're still over here. Oh, oh, they they left. Oh, there's another Australian ship because it looks like Japan is really trying to shit all over the Spaniards in Singapore, which isn't going very well. But it will go very well since we have I've oh, I've sent ten nukes to Singapore. If you thought it wasn't hot there before, they nuked I nuked them to death. Holy crap! Besides a few of them, um, oh, these aren't even con oh, they're not even convoys down here. I nuked them to death. Ten convoys as enough for you to nuke someone until they die. Literally die. Very cool, guys. Very cool. Those Australians never knew what hit them. Ah, so good. And how are we doing down here? Well, it looks like we're doing some sort of lightning war tactics as the tanks are trying to push hard. Oh, wait, we're losing. 
no, not really, not against us motorized division. Alright, so you guys are doing very well. Uh, oh my goodness, level 2 infrastructure, what type of garbage German province do you own? Oh, and I do definitely want to build up the mountain provinces, because that's going to be impossible to take. Hey, look! Starving Germans! Huh, huh. Oh, God. Uh, very good, very good. Couple of subs sunk. Two more subs sunk. Do we have any more ships here? Oh, we actually... Phew. We have a double carrier. We have two carriers here ready to go. This is still not quite a good composition fleet because you need two more screens, but whatever. Uh, da da da. Sure. Ah, uh, coffee. Very good. Are we getting more political power? Alright, not bad, not bad. War bonds, it's kind of a way. Uh, not bad. We could expand one of these plants, perhaps. Nation building? Eh, let's expand some of these plants. Let's get some more chromium, because I'm sure we could always use more chromium, right? Okay, we need more rubber. Whatever. That's fine with me. Ah, look at this, the United States. This is how you do the United States. You lose a couple 8 million men, but you don't talk about that. Oh my goodness, I should not have done what I did earlier. Oh my god. Look at this manpower, I completely ignored it. Wow, we've got almost 700 million non-core people within our borders. Wow. Just think of the logistics needed to do that, to make sure that no one, or at least very few people, rebel against your uh, liberation rules. That's insane. 700 million people. God, that's got to be so hard for China to do nowadays. That's why they're implementing social programs to tell you, hey, this person, he isn't a good person. Or some sort of social policy or something like that. I'm not really sure. It's like some sort of credits, basically some sort of credit system actually in China that will tell maybe businesses or at least the government saying, hey, this person isn't so trustworthy, they might be a spy, they might be uh, not patriotic enough. So, go figure. I'm glad I don't live in China. Ooh, that sounds terrible. But, you know, regardless. Hey, look, Japan finally took that island. I remember I helped nuke them and nuke the Germans here. And then the Japanese still couldn't take the island, but hey, they took it eventually. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised. I see our allies try to invade these areas in the Middle East. Now, what would happen? Oh, actually, oh, we need... Oh, you know what? Screw that. Yeah, just give him 15. Dang it. What the frick? 10 subs, but... Uh, okay. 11 more subs. All right. Yeah, we need more manpower. Um, I, I, I'm usually against deleting armies, but since we have so many... Wait, did I... I gave these guys orders? Oh, yeah, go ahead. So, I mean, you know... You did a great job, William Wadsworth. You did a great job, Lester McNair. Uh, actually... Let's see. 2242. 3223. Uh, technically, this guy's... I want to say is better just because he has more planning speed, but bye-bye. I need the manpower. Thank you. Your soldiers will be... Recommended to join other branches of the military because I need a little bit more manpower and I can't believe I'm as the United States I'm going to go to all adults serve uh, Oh, the Italians are still here. Oh, there's only one division. Come on Japan. You guys got this Senator retires. Honestly, I think a lot of the manpower loss besides, you know, just blunt attacking the enemy in Asia and Europe Comes from me making so many freaking submarines and ships then again, subs don't really take that much manpower. How much manpower does each sub take? Uh, just combined. So, a level 4 sub takes about... Where is it? Speed, service... Two, oh, never mind. 200 manpower? That's not bad. That's a, that's a huge submarine! 200 manpower! That's freaking huge. I remember going to Chicago at one point. And they said about the German U-boats that... Um, the, the crews, there weren't massive crews, you know, doing submarine operations or sailors working in the subs, but nowadays, just massive numbers of men, and I guess women too, working in the submarines down there, just, that'd be incredibly terrifying for me at least. I mean, I don't think I could, I don't think I'm really claustrophobic by a lot, but... 
maybe a little bit you know it's just underwater you got water all around you of course you can't really do very much you're stuck where you're at if you want to escape well you gotta wait till you dock or you might just die underneath the water which is I think in my opinion one of the worst ways to go I mean you, you can't breathe water unless you've got you know a rebreather or something but that sounds like like a terrifying way to go and actually the tanks are doing so freaking god dang well that they're killing themselves god I love these American Patriots Oh. And you know what? Let's use these guys a little bit more tactically. I'm going to tell you guys to hold. Nice. Alright. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to send these guys this way. Because we've expanded so hard into the southern portions of this front. It's not even funny. Nice. 10 more subs. Uh, 10 more convoys sunk. And this will give us time to hopefully build this area up because we're going to add a new army around here. Yay, armies! Uh, where are y'all? There you are. And this is going to kill the supply situation. And you will push down to Africa. Yes, in the desert spots of Africa. Oh, look, we're out of manpower again. China, there you go. Uh, I mean, honestly, at this point, I really don't need too much home defense. Yeah. Usually I never do something like that, but yeah, whatever. What are you guys doing? You're repairing, huh? Hmm. Interesting. 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh, we invaded. Very good job, guys. Very, very good job. I won't destroy all these armies. I'll probably just leave one here, so uh, we might as well leave destroy you guys as well. I'm going to need that manpower since we don't have enough political power yet to really... Uh, increase our conscription levels. Nice, the tanks have... Wow, they've already made it up here. Very good job, guys. Actually, we've got no spare tanks. Oh, good. Oh, great. But regardless, the show must go on, and i got to continue converting some of these tanks, battalions, into modern tanks. Which hurts our modern tank production, but helps our medium tank deficit, since we're not making any more anyways. Motorized, advanced artillery, da da da. Where are my tanks? 15. Jesus Christ, Mr. Mokul Lover. That's not definitely not enough. Artillery? Yeah, I think we've got enough. Definitely have enough of that. We need more anti tank, yeah. Uh, if we didn't need anything, I'd probably take it off of. Actually, our supplies aren't super great, actually. Maybe except for Amtrak's, but we're not really devoting a lot of, of factories that way. So. Yeah, I'm definitely going to, have to raise conscription levels. You're good to go ahead. Let's send Patton with you. Send Patton with you. Actually, if you guys could take these guys out, yeah, that would be actually a very smart thing to do. Just because you could encircle two divisions that are already retreating. Okay, then. Okay, then. We've. Oh, come on. Can we actually make it down here. Can you attack, but carefully attack? Did I even give you orders? Yeah, I told you to do that. Prepare yourselves, prepare yourselves. You should be prepared enough. Go right ahead. And actually, you don't have any air bases down here, which is a gosh dang shame. Yeah, there's not that many air bases. Radar is pretty okay. Pretty okay, but you could always use more. I haven't used very many nukes either, except for that one point where we took out Singapore, but that's besides the point. Alright, how's this looking over here? I mean, it just fighting through is just a slog. Massive, massive slog. Very cool, very, very nice. Yeah, this front is just the most engaging, and we're just snaking down through here. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, cool, yeah. More acclimatization factors for the weather. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, y'all don't want to kill yourselves over here. That's not a good idea to attack ten divisions in the mountains when you only have two divisions. And I'm not even going to say you do you because that's a dumb idea. But let's do this dumb idea. Is it possible to take them out? Maybe. We're losing quite a few men. Germans have reached ten million though. Or no, close to ten million. Close to ten million. And a lot of dead ships. A lot of dead ships. Germany, how... where are you at? So, 
But yeah, actually we have like 2,000 or 200 less divisions than I remembered. They're on scraping the barrel at about a little more, maybe around 3 million manpower. That's pretty darn good in my opinion. Alright, very good. How are the tanks? Oh, we actually lost the tank division because we did, a, had, did have 11 at one point. You guys be careful. Actually, you know what? Stop attacking for now. Uh, where's the northern front is okay since I set the tanks up there, I think. Yeah. And we're out of manpower again. Jesus Christ. I'm expending so much manpower just to get to Europe this way. And yes, yes, I could invade Europe another way around, but at this point, whatever. Uh, actually, if I need to get rid of one of these guys, I'll get rid of this one. Cool. Let's see, where are you at? You're over here. That's not bad. Ah, uh, just telling the soldiers or your divisions, just go ahead, just go ahead, guys, no problem, no problem. Because they don't exactly ever do what you exactly want. It's it's so much more easier to micro it, but at this point in the Oh, good. We can expand to all adults serve. Alright, America. All your adults are going to serve now. We're going to get a crap ton of manpower. That, but all adults serve, that, that includes women, right? I mean... That technically should include women. If it's all adults, I mean, I think women, some women are adults, right? Right? Regardless. Yeah, we're not winning in a lot of these battles. Uh, but, it says, but it says we're going to do well. Oh, we made an encirclement. That's actually a pretty good encirclement. Six divisions? Okay. Well, there was six divisions. Now they're all dead. Good job, guys. Oh, that's an entire army. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And like those divisions, I am out of coffee. Oh, I'm out of coffee. And Germany will lose a lot more divisions. Just like everyone else will, who opposes us. Even though I don't think we can really sustain infinite war forever. I don't know of a single country in the in history that could sustain war forever. Not even China, with all their billions of people. Which, actually, we should see a Chinese decrease of population in the next coming generations. Japan did it! What our allies couldn't do before, Japan actually invaded Abu Dhabi and managed to get the port. That's impressive. How are you guys losing this? Oh, do you get supplies from Doha? I doubt it. Maybe not. I don't know. Alright, very good, very good. Wait, what's going on over here? You still haven't taken this, guys? It's only one division. You outnumber them by like, what was that, six, seven, seven to one? Oh my goodness. Actually, it's, how's the air power around here? It's pretty good, it's pretty good, we just need... ...hell on everyone. Alright, it says it's pretty good, let's go ahead. And then for you, yeah, let's not go ahead. Don't go ahead, don't go ahead. But take Baku. Oh! Wait a second, if... When we take Baku, that will help take a lot of the oil reserves away from Germany, even though... They, at this point probably have a lot of extra oil reserves regardless because they probably had time to build up refineries I think the AI does build refineries now I mean it's not as dumb as it used to be but it's definitely not very smart cool we are advancing in this essential especially northern portion even though it takes freaking forever to move all right crank it up especially in the north just crank this got up uh, Urolsk. Nice, we're building stuff down here. Definitely Georgia, since we've got so many divisions down there. Angles, sure, why not? Just build, build, build. So that the infrastructure isn't so crap. Good. We are moving around, which is awesome. Senator retires. Ah, uh, very good. I could use a little bit more support. Small lobbying effort. Very good. And nice, we have almost all of this. Actually, I'll send you down here. We don't want any German resistance fighters over here. That would be very, very bad. And probably very soon, I will split this these two armies off from the main group. Very, very soon. Uh, actually, uh, it looks like they're banning their lines somewhat. I hate to do this, but go ahead, guys. Go ahead. How are the tanks doing? You are just killing yourselves over here. You're doing so good, you're killing yourselves. 
Uh, medium tanks, modern tanks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to retire my tanks for like a break or something before we push too much harder. And are they causing supply issues? Where are they? Not too badly, a little bit. Uh, just hang out by the airport. I don't want you guys to all be destroyed, and we have a massive deficit of tanks right now anyways. Alright, what, anything else going on? Destroyer. Oh, by the way, guys, I just remembered this, but it was a couple of days ago, where I... Holy crap, before I talk about that, what, this. Oh, Jesus Christ, Japan. I actually passed a total of 100,000 views on my channel since I started uploading videos, which is kind of insane to think about. 100,000 views? I mean, some of you guys actually watch my videos? That's, that's kind of nuts. Kind of weird to think about. It's been a while since I've been posting videos since I began. But not too long. Not too long. But 100,000 views is... That's a lot of views. That's a lot of views that uh, some people will never get. I mean, obviously, it's not like 100,000 subscribers or anything like that, but... <sighs> wow. 100,000 views. Not saying my videos are the greatest. But, yeah, Whatever. That was just something really cool that I wasn't ever thinking of until I saw the... Uh, viewer count, so that's pretty awesome. Actually, between this episode and the next, I'm thinking I'm going to try to remind myself, oh my goodness, to see where most of my viewers come from, where I don't know where any of you guys live. That's fine with me, you don't even know where I live, I don't even know where you live, except as long as you are in this campaign, an American Patriot, that's all that matters, but uh, I'll check out uh, where a bunch of you watchers are. And by the way, Japan, what the hell are you doing? I don't even have ships over here. My gosh, Japan. You are just Get the Japanese on your side, and you might do well in a war. <laughs> Fucking idiots. You don't have a good birth rate, Japan. Well, maybe in this timeline you do. It's not, you know, 2019. Oh my god, Japan. Seriously. You, oh my goodness. And you lost this. Oh, you tried to expand, though. That's good. Oh, Jesus. You can't afford all these types of losses, Japan. I nuked you a few times already. How much manpower does Japan have left? Uh, naval production, that's not a lot, especially if you're on all adult serve. Oh, oh, we are so close to reaching the Black Sea. We are so freaking close. So, 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 so close. Uh, wow, look at these tanks. I mean, they are just so freaking battered. George S. Pan's level 5 general. He has 8 attack. Jesus. He is Mr. Attack. And then, well, Walter Kruger, the actual tank uh, general, is 6 attack. Or I guess technically seven skill and level six. Jesus Christ! While well, Patton's only level five, that's insane. And our attacks don't seem like they're going that well anymore. Oh yeah, don't be crazy. You guys, eh, it seems to be going okay. Let's get up here, get over here. Yeah, do that. And nice, two more subs sunk. Jesus, this battle, this this war is just raging so hard. We are so freaking close. So close to reaching the Black Sea. I want to reach the Black Sea before the video ends. But they've, like, how many divisions is this? 10? 13 divisions? We just can't break into there with them being all fancy-pantsy. Oh my gosh, we're actually to, we're actually trying to take Turkish land. And they're holding off pretty darn well. Douglas MacArthur, you should definitely have a few more traits. Oh, they tried to take a piece of territory, but we said no. Come on, push, guys, push. Uh, you guys, what are you doing? What are you up to? All right, be a little more balanced since they don't have a ton of divisions around here. Yeah, it's fine with me. Anything lost? Anything sunk? A couple German subby boys. Yep, my apologies. That was just my phone. In Japan, you actually have a freaking port. You actually have a port. Just don't lose the port, Japan. That's why I'm trying to build another one up there. Just don't lose a port. become democratic they're the best group to ever have oh and they lost that area I'm trying to build a port and god dang it Japan oh my goodness but this is going so well we are fully in Europe now we have touched the Black Sea here we go boys this is what we're gonna do or girls I don't know like I said I haven't checked who actually watches my videos what gender or sex you are uh, go all the way up here do that and then Rearrange all of you, 49 divisions, 
And eventually I will split these two armies up, one towards Turkey to meet up with the rest of the armies in Europe, while the other army goes down to Africa. Oh, Oscar, do you- Oh my goodness, yes. You have to have Logistics Wizard on this so you can stop sucking on all my oil, as well as all my supplies. But now this man, Oscar Griswold, will be the Field Marshal to lead us into the Turkish lands. Thank God we're still mobilizing. So, we're going to leave it here today, guys. We have reached Turkey. We have fully reached Europe. There's almost, basically at this point, there is literally no province that we have on our front line that is not in Europe. And these are the casualties. I'm approaching 10 million, while the Germans have definitely have 10 and a half. Uh, overall, 21 and a half million casualties for the Axis, while we have taken 11 Point six on our side. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everyone who has viewed my channels thus far. Uh, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we will hopefully get maybe to Africa. Thanks for watching.